Have you ever seen a soldier lying down in battle? <laughs> it seems kind of strange, right? If he's lying down, it's probably because he's injured or even dead. Our lesson talks about three strategies used to obtain victory that are mentioned in classical battle literature. Number one, soldiers need to march to meet their foes. Number two, they need to attack and stand their ground. And number three, soldiers need to beat back the enemy. None of this action mentions being laid back. There's a lot of movement, strategizing, and pushing of enemy lines. Standing your ground is such an important part of winning, a standoff, that governments have even made laws about them, because it means you should not back down when faced with a threat. When a person stands their ground, it means that they're not easily toppled over. It gives a sense of being rooted or grounded. They don't go with the flow. Standing means you're usually prepared for the next activity. You're ready for whatever happens. How does this make sense in the spiritual world? Especially when there's nothing tangible to fight against. Ephesians 6.13 says, Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. <laughs> So there seems to be a connection between putting on the full armor of God and being able to stand your ground. What if a soldier only partially puts on their armor? Would they be as protected or would they be more vulnerable to a deathly attack? So Paul tells us exactly what is needed to stand your ground. Truth, righteousness, gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and the word of God. But more about that next week with Pastor Bob. For now, remember that to fight spiritual battles, we need to rely on God. But humanly, we need to do our part, which is putting on the full armor, not just half of it, so we are prepared for whatever attack comes our way. And that is our nugget for today. I'll see you tomorrow.